what is going on guys your boy b cat barakat and i am in kuala lumpur uh there's a night market that i passed earlier so we'll be heading over there and checking out some of the foods seeing what i can get my hands on and uh going from there That looks really good. Some chicken wings, smoked and barbecued. Yeah, it does look like uh, most of the vendors are still setting up right now. Not sure when it opens or if it just opened because some of them are still getting stuff ready. But that's cool. It means they're gonna be here late. And that means it's gonna be busy because right now there's not a lot of people, but I can expect it with the you know big population of Malaysia that it should be busy within a couple of hours here once the sun sets and people pray and come out to get their their dinner. I seen this like a grape seaweed stuff. I'm not sure what to call it, but I don't know how you eat it. This stuff. I always wondered. Uh, I seen it in Thailand as well, and I always wondered, like, what do you eat that with, or how do you eat it, or is it a condiment? Do you have it with something else, or is it? Do you just have it as it is? Oh, let's start with a drink. Maybe I'll carry a drink around. Hello, sir. Can I get uh, one of these? Okay. <laughs> Look at this blue drink. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. So that was uh, four ringgit, which is uh, roughly a dollar twenty, dollar twenty-five Canadian. And I kind of want to just take a quick seat and have a sip of this. Uh, some of the vendors are still getting ready, so I think I might wait maybe uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes and then have a go to see when they're ready to pick out which food I'm going to get. Or maybe do another round myself here and then uh, decide on what to eat. So let's check this out real quick though. I think it looked like Thai tea, I, but now that now that it's in here, it, it kind of doesn't. No, it's not Thai tea. Um, not sure what it is, but it's good. Something milky and good. A fresh and drink regardless. Okay, I think I found something I want to eat. And there's a couple things I want to eat, but my stomach can only take so much, so I gotta be uh, picky. Some good noodles, but I think that's too filling. Uh, hello, th this one here is with fish, right? This one's seafood, yes. We'll see. Okay, can I get, uh, I'll get like one one portion. And one portion? Yeah, like you want uh, with cheese? Maybe. Sorry? You want with cheese? With cheese? Sure, we could try. Yeah, with cheese. And what is this one? This one also kind of seafood. Kind seafood. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll try some of that as well.
Yeah, just one is fine. Thank you. That's perfect. These are the three. And how much total? Six fifty. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's give this a try. So I seen these in Thailand, uh, but it was uh, like a, a Muslim area where they have like a big night market and some uh, Malaysian guy was selling it. But I was like really hungry and I wanted like noodles or some, I think I ended up getting some soup, some wonton soup. So I didn't end up having it. And now that I seen them again, it's kind of like, okay, gotta have it. This time it was with cheese, so we'll see how that is. I've never had it with cheese before. But first we'll start with this guy, which is this. And it's got some heft to it. It's like uh, slightly bending the stick because of how much it weighs. So I'm assuming it's, you know, let's find out. Yeah, it's good, like oily, um, fishy, and you know, mixed in with some carbs, some who knows what. It's good. I should have asked for like some spice, some hot sauce or something. I don't know if he had sambal there and I just didn't ask for it. Oh well. Too late. Put some uh, cheese sauce on top. I've never thought to put cheese on a fish stick, but it's first time for everything. very good and it's still really warm but I think I ruined it with the fish with the with the cheese on it so we'll try one without it right now and see how big of a difference it is maybe I have to like scrape it off or something but oh well that cheese sauce is uh, very strong and the big part is I haven't had like a that kind of like nacho cheese artificial cheese in like a really long time Yeah, they're really good. I'll try it again with the with the cheese here. I just think it's too much cheese, maybe. Should have asked for like less. I scraped a bunch off. I feel like my beard's probably a mess right now. Oh, also, this right here is a corn drink. I knew I had like a, like a, a hint of something familiar, but I didn't know what it was. And now that he said corn, I can't untaste it. I taste like the corn at the front, uh, you know, of, of my taste buds. And uh, I kind of regret it because <laughs> it was nice not knowing now, now that I know, I, all I think about is having corn on the cob or something. Where 
don't know. Having it in a drink for me is not normal. But it's a thing. You come to a new place and you try different foods. It's, uh, it's part of the game. So I grabbed some fried sh shrimp and not sure if you're supposed to eat the whole thing uh, as it is, but here we go with the shell on and everything. It's not bad. You don't really like feel the shell. It's uh, crispy. I'm not gonna eat the tail because I, I I'm never used to eating the tail. But these are some giant prawns. That's uh actually not not that giant. I've seen way bigger prawns, especially in Thailand. There's some like massive ones, but those are they're too much, and they taste uh or they they're like way too stringy and sinewy. It's not, it's not good, honestly. Smaller prawns are way better. Bigger doesn't always mean better. That was good. The adhan's going off in the background. So I'm assuming there's a, a mosque somewhere here. There's what I think is like a, a donut. But they sell it in like big quantities. Like, what am I gonna do with 25 or 50 pieces? 30 pieces is too much for me. Mm. Maybe I'll come back. That's the too, too, too much, I don't think you. Okay, I'll decide. If I don't see anything else that's uh, catches my eyes like a sweet then uh, I'll go back and get some of that because this is not cutting it unfortunately I want to throw it out but I also want to finish more of it I don't want to waste don't like wasting food everyone speaks really good English here it's awesome I know it's like the capital and uh, big trade a lot of trades, a lot of uh, tourism as well, so it really helps me uh, get through because I tried translating some of this stuff and it, it doesn't work on the app as good as I, I said, I translated something earlier, which I knew what it was, but when I translated it on the app, it said monkey and I'm just like, okay, I'm not using this anymore because that's obviously not the case. I want to serve in monkeys here, come on. Hello. Which flavor is this one? What, what flavor, yes? Uh, no, I do Big Box. You do? Oh, big okay. Uh, big you box. can mix. Uh, I think that's too too many for me. Uh, maybe I do... Mini Box. Mini Box, yeah. Are you recording? Yeah, is that okay? Okay. Is okay? Okay, perfect. Do you do for... Uh, for family, for friends, so they could see my travel, yes. Hello, bro. Hello, bro. Hi, Hello. Where are you from? I'm coming from Canada. Canada. Yes, sir. You come for travel? Yes, for travel, yeah. Been to Thailand, uh, Indonesia, and now Malaysia. Which one is the best topping? Uh, for this, I mm. put all this flavor. Oh, you put? Oh, okay. Yeah. Why not try a little bit of everything? Okay. That's cool. Thank 
too. There's that. Thank you. Check this out, guys. These are hot, fresh off the oven. After a little pancake maker. Let's give it a try. So good. Mm. So good. Oh yeah. That hits the spot. Now we'll try one with the Biscoff. I keep dropping them because they're so so tender that it doesn't even require anything for them to fall off. Okay. So good. I'm going to finish this whole thing because I'm a fatty. But yeah, glad I held off. Those donuts look good, but uh, this is way better. I'm assuming. I haven't had those donuts before, but I've got 25 or 50 pieces. Way too much for one person. 10 of these is even a lot, but I'm okay with that. I'll walk it off. All right, guys. That was it. Had a good time at the uh, little night market there. Got a lot of food, which is great. Good selection, good variety. And uh, looking forward to the next one. There's some a, a way bigger one uh, that's open on Thursday and on Friday. So we'll check that out. And uh, one thing I'm surprised is there's more so restaurants, but not as much like food stalls, just, uh, you know, vendors on the street selling, you know, some street food. But I guess I'm just used to that from uh, Thailand and Indonesia. And uh, can't expect it all the time, you know. And, uh, to every city that I go to but that means I get to try some more restaurant foods and some chains maybe we try some fast food and some other stuff so we'll catch you next time don't forget to hit that like leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe S support your boy we'll catch you later